Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. We have a high energy video for you today. Active. It's the an active video. top nine. We couldn't come up with 10, so you're going to have to leave number 10 in the comments section below. I think it's probably going to be pretty obvious. Whatever it is, we're going to be like, Duh. Yeah, I like, can't believe we missed that one. But these are the top nine most energetic fish that you can have in your fish tank, at least from our experience. So number one. Number one. Me or you? Well, I think I'm going to start. Okay, you go ahead. All right. Danios. Danios, I learned the hard way that they are very active and all different kinds of them. They are all active. And I think the most important thing is if you're keeping it with a betta. Don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we had, a, we had the glow, glow light Daniels, I think was with a betta, right? And like a five gallon, we quickly realized, or you quickly realized that yeah. that was not gonna work. No. I had giant Daniels in the 150 a very long time ago. That actually worked out okay because it was in there, they were in there with some cichlids. Uh, some peacock cichlids that worked out fine but yeah if you're going to get daniels know that a lot of times they are always on the move and they're very active and so it might not be a good mix for smaller tanks or fish that are rather lazy yeah especially when it comes to feeding time absolutely yeah they're little pigs number two and that is the tinfoil barb we had a couple tinfoil barbs in the 150 and these fish were non-stop action. In fact, I don't think I ever saw them sit still in the, all the years that we had them. I think we had them in our fish room for like 12 years and not once did they ever just stop to think about life. They were just constantly zooming around the tank back and forth in circles up and down. And they're great fish, but just know that a lot of times they are going to be extremely active. All right, this is a tiny, tiny fast little fish. The Endler. Mm -hmm. They are always moving about. Tiny little fins just flapping around and they're like little darts. And that was another thing that you learn is again the Endlers and the Betta. Yeah, I learned a lot of things. In a five gallon tank, <laughs> probably not the best. So Endlers are small, that is for sure. But often they would appreciate a slightly larger tank than you might expect based on their size just because they often are extremely active. Yeah, they like to do laps. Number four. Number four is not any one particular fish, but it's a group of fish, and that are the Imbuna cichlids. Another type of fish that is almost always on the move, and when you see them in a larger community, Imbuna community tank, mm. man, do they really, really get going. Now, it's cool because they have all different colors and personalities, and as long as you can manage the aggression, it can be a really fun tank, but it's definitely a tank where the fish are always on the move and around feeding time, they absolutely grow, just go crazy for food. And one of the hardest things I think with, with this fish, they're so beautiful. Be colors are so beautiful. Good luck getting them on a, uh, for a picture. Yeah, that's, a, <laughs> that's another thing too. All these fish, I, we could probably double this up. The fish that are hardest to take a, a picture photograph. of, yeah, are, are these ones <laughs> as well. Good luck. Okay, my turn? Yep. Okay. Well, if you're gonna mention endlers, you gotta mention guppies. Always on the move. Zoom, zoom, zoom in. Yep, guppies are fun to watch. They're full of color, but hmm. they do love to swim around the tank. And again, it's one of those fish where yes, they stay small, but you're really looking at ideally a 10 gallon or above for those fish, just because of the amount of time they like to spend in motion, give them the space to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they ever made a cartoon about fish, you know, like Nemo, but like fish, I think they would probably want to do guppies because they would have really fun personalities. For sure. I thought. Number six is a fish I really like, and that is the rainbow fish. These are great fish. We have them in our 75 gallon. We've had them a number of times before. We've had some in the 150, and it's another fish where they are often on the move, very active, very colorful. They've got those tiny little heads with the big <laughs> bodies, but they are very interesting fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like them now. I didn't used to with their tiny little heads, but now just added them right to the list of cool. And what's it more interesting is we have the rainbow fish with the tiny little heads in with the gymnogeophagus with the largest heads yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. It all balances each other out. What all you right. got for number eight? All right. Number seven. And I'm number seven. On uh, number seven. Okay. Molly's right behind us here in the 50 gallon little boy. They, uh, they're always moving around. They sure are. Just like the endlers, just like the guppies. Mm -hmm. They just love to swim and to just wiggle around. They're just kind of little goofy fish, but mm -hmm. lots of action with the mollies. Yeah, lots of fun. Now, number eight 
is actually a fish that we have not had in the fish room in a very, very long time. And that is the Pictus cat. Perhaps you've seen them at the fish store. Maybe you've even got some. And they are always just swimming up and down the glass and all around with those big whiskers. They look really cool. You just have to make sure you've given them their space and that they are in a tank that's going to appreciate that kind of activity. But the Pictus cat's really awesome. It's just, it's always go with them. All right, are you ready for my last, my last pick? I'm ready for the last pick. Okay. I say goodyads. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the goodyads, those are some really awesome fish. Mm -hmm. And they're, what's interesting about them is they are endangered. And so we did a fish room tour. I'll put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below of Andrew Pierkowski's fish room. And he Ooh. keeps a lot of these different goodyads, but a lot of them are just always on the move and we've got some Iliadon white eye in our 125 with the electric blue car and they just love to swim back and forth all day long mm -hmm. so that those were the top nine most active fish that we have encountered again to round it out you leave number 10 down in the in the comment section below would love to hear from you what fish were just non-stop in your fish tanks mm -hmm. And probably not the best choice for like putting a tank by a reading nook, but an excellent choice for your workout room. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you being here and we will see you in the next one. Have a good week.